Hi, and thanks to the State Department for hosting this hearing. My name is Mara Cowley. I'm a co-director at Energy Action Coalition. We are 200,000 young voters as our members, young people across this country who are vehemently in opposition to expansion of the Keystone XL pipeline and are asking President Obama to intervene and immediately uh, revoke or deny the presidential permit. We represent 50 organizations, all of whom work with young people on climate and energy issues, and one in particular, the Indigenous Environmental Network, whose young people every day are facing the horrific impacts of oil sands and oil drilling and building of this pipeline in their communities, and they are sick and they are dying because of it. We appreciate that you say that the State Department hasn't made that the State Department hasn't made a decision yet on this issue, but in fact, we don't believe you. Emails detail a relationship between TransCanada and the State Department that in fact suggests that the two might be actually collaborating on lobby efforts, and we think the Department of Justice needs to intervene immediately. <laughs> TransCanada has already broken the law in this process. They, their lobbyist, Paul Elliott, is not currently registered to represent an international corporation, but in fact, that is what he is doing. And once again, we'd like to, the Department of Justice to intervene and immediately investigate that. Um, TransCanada and the State Department are lying to the American public right now by claiming that this is a matter of energy independence, when in fact we know that Keystone XL is an export pipeline. Valero, a key customer of the Keystone XL pipeline, has already detailed an export strategy to its investors. This is other major stakeholders that will benefit from a profit perspective on this include Royal Dutch Shell and the Saudi Arabian government. So this is in fact another project to pump the profits of the Middle East and we should pretend it has nothing else and stop making claims that it is anything different. Um, and it will not help the American economy. Fuel prices will spike in 15 states, according to the Cornell University Global Labor Institute, because of this pipeline. Beyond that, this is a moral issue for the State Department to consider. Right now, you are faced with a choice. Will you stand up and work with the American people to protect our heartland from pollution, to ensure that health care costs along the pipeline route don't spike, to ensure that our future isn't compromised, or will you allow the cronyism that is apparently rampant in the State Department to continue by siding with big oil, siding with TransCanada, and allowing the lies of TransCanada to be perpetuated? Once again, we are asking President Obama to intervene immediately and deny the pipeline.